Hello and welcome to another video in our series of Microsoft Office 365 technical support modules. In this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot duplicate or invalid user attribute issues that prevent directory synchronization between your on-premise Active Directory and Office 365. This video is intended for administrators of Office 365 for Enterprises who use an on-premise Active Directory and directory synchronization. Directory synchronization is an Office 365 service that automatically updates your Office 365 directory with any changes that you make to user accounts in your on-premise Active Directory. Synchronization first takes place when you install the directory synchronization tool and then repeats every three hours afterwards by default. When directory synchronization experiences an error, a directory synchronization error report email is sent to Office 365 administrators. The email may contain one or more of the following error messages. Whenever you see any of these errors, indicating that there's been a problem with directory synchronization caused by a particular attribute, the solution is to adjust the attribute's value in your local Active Directory to an acceptable value. To resolve the issue, we must first determine the duplicate values and values that conflict with other Active Directory objects. To do this, we will use the Microsoft Online Services Diagnostics and Login Support Toolkit, also known as MOSDAO. Refer to the following Microsoft Knowledge Base article for more information about MOSDAO, including download and install information. After downloading and installing MOSDAO on your domain controller, click Start, click All Programs, click MOSDAO Support Toolkit, and click MOSDAO Support Toolkit again. In the MOSDAO Support Toolkit screen, add a check mark next to Directory Synchronization. Click Next. Enter your Office 365 sign-in credentials. The password is not saved and is only used to simulate an authentication attempt and log the results. Don't add a check mark next to Skip Entering Credentials and Bypass Office 365 Authentication Tests. Click Next. You don't need to reproduce the issue. Click Next. MOSDAL will perform the diagnostics test, which may require a few minutes. When done, click Exit and Show Files to view the diagnostics reports folder. Each diagnostics report folder is timestamped. Click the folder with the recently generated diagnostics report. Click Admin Applications. Click Directory Synchronization Tool. Look for and open the file titled DirSyncObjects.xml. This file lists the duplicate user primary names and proxy addresses in your organization. Alternately to running MOSDAO, you can run the Office 365 Deployment Readiness tool to scan the domain environment for the Office 365 Deployment blockers. On a domain-joined computer, download the Office 365 Deployment Readiness tool from the following Microsoft website. Extract the compressed files to a folder. Double-click the Office 365 Deployment Readiness Tool executable. Click Run on the Security Warning Prompt. The Office 365 Deployment Readiness Tool will perform a scan that may take a few minutes. When done, locate the Active Directory Cleanup section of the report to view a list of attribute issues that can cause synchronization problems. Now we will determine attribute conflicts that were not created in Office 365 through directory synchronization, but are caused by user objects that were created using Office 365 management tools. We will use LDP, which is included in Windows Server 2008 and in Windows Server 2003 support tools, to determine the unique attributes of the ADDS user account. The Windows Server 2003 support tools are included in the Windows Server 2003 installation media or visit the following Microsoft website to obtain the tool. On a computer that has Windows support tools installed, click Start. In the search box, type LDP. Click LDP from the search results. Click Connection. Click Connect. Type the computer name of an ADDS domain controller and click OK. Click Connection. Click Bind. Click Bind as Currently Logged On User. Click OK. 
Click View. Click Tree View. Select the ADDS domain in the Base DN drop down list and then click OK. In the navigation pane, locate and double click the object that is not synchronizing correctly. The details pane on the right side of the window lists all of the object attributes. Write down the values of the user principal name attribute and each SMTP address in the multi value proxy addresses attribute. You will need these values later. Note that for proxy addresses, the number that is displayed in parentheses next to the attribute label indicates the number of proxy address values in the multi-value attribute. Each distinct proxy address value is indicated by a semicolon, and the primary SMTP proxy address value is indicated by uppercase SMTP colon. Now we will connect to Office 365 using the Microsoft Online Service module for Windows PowerShell. Refer to the following website for more information about the Microsoft Online Service Module for Windows PowerShell. Click Start. Click All Programs. Click Microsoft Online Services. Click Microsoft Online Services Module for Windows PowerShell. Type the following command and press Enter. Enter your Office 365 administrator credentials when prompted. Type the following command and press Enter. This command signs you into your Office 365 environment through PowerShell. Now type the following command to check for duplicate user principal name attributes and press Enter. Note that in this command, Search UPN is a placeholder for the user principal name attribute value that you noted earlier in this video. Now type the following command and press enter. Items that are returned after you run this command represent user objects that were not created through directory synchronization and that have attributes that conflict with the object that is not synchronizing correctly. Refer to the following Microsoft Knowledge Base article for additional information on resolving conflicting or invalid attribute values. Now type the following command to check for duplicate proxy addresses attributes and press enter. Then type the following command and press enter. Now type the following command and press enter. Note that in this command, search proxy address is a placeholder for the proxy addresses attribute values that you noted earlier in this video. Now type the following command and press enter. Items that are returned after you run this command represent user objects that were not created through directory synchronization and that have attributes that conflict with the object that is not synchronizing correctly. This command searches your Office 365 environment for objects that contain the proxy addresses but have not yet been synchronized through directory synchronization. This command will fail if your Office 365 service does not have Exchange Online enabled. This is an expected result. Refer to the following Microsoft Knowledge Base article for additional information on resolving conflicting or invalid attribute values. In this video, we looked at how to troubleshoot problems with directory synchronization between your on-premise Active Directory and Office 365. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you found it helpful. Help make our videos better. Please provide feedback by completing a short survey at the URL displayed on the screen. This URL is also listed in the description of this video.